Okay, this patient is acute limb ischemia same man and the task says that this patient has been admitted to the A&E or came to you to the A&E because he is having problem or pain in his legs and the patient is 60 years old. So now you know that the patient is having leg pain. You will enter the cubicle, you will find out the patient telling you, doctor, I have pain in my leg. And he will give you a pain which he started maybe a few hours back and it's below the knee, most probably. It started suddenly, nothing specific and it's getting worse and it has been continuous and nothing relieves it at all. And score is 7 to 8 out of 10, which is severe pain. So what do you, what you think about severe pain which is started in an old man? This could be maybe trauma. You will ask him, do you have anything else? He will tell you, um, no doctor. Ask him, have you hit your leg recently? He will say no at all. Okay, so now you ruled out trauma. Ask him about any redness or swelling uh, in the leg. He will tell you no doctor. Ask him about any color change in the leg. Um, he will tell you, um, yes doctor, I noticed some color change. Ask him about the color change. He will tell you that it turned blue. Sometimes he noticed that it's becoming pale or blue. Um, ask him since when it started and how did it start. The same thing together with the leg pain and nothing specific um, ask him do you have so now you know that this patient is probably having leg ischemia what is the most probable cause of leg ischemia in old patient the most probable cause is atrial fibrillation or thrombus generally and the thrombus most probably is due to atrial fibrillation so ask him about uh, do you have any chest pain he may say no any chest discomfort he will say yes so now this patient is giving you leg ischemia due to fluttering sensation or, or chest discomfort, which is atrial fibrillation. Doctor, this chest discomfort is like fluttering sensation and it started like maybe a few weeks back. It used to come in episodes, doctor, and it's getting worse these days and gets worse in physical activity, sometimes relieves unrest. Uh, the rest of the history is not conclusive at all. You can ask him about any shortness of breath, maybe about um, any pain while walking. You can also ask him about any fever, um, any cough. No, no, no. So here, the findings here are number one, uh, leg pain and leg color change. Number two, uh, chest discomfort, which is like fluttering sensation. Those two findings are very enough to know that this is limb ischemia due to heart problem. Okay, the patient in the lifestyle may be a smoker, heavy smoker since 20 years. This is the only finding. Now move to the examination of the patient. Okay, move to the monitor. On the monitor actually what you will find, you will find the blood pressure is normal and the pulse is fluctuating between 70 to 100 ton. And the ECG shows fibrillatory complex, the AF, the atrial fibrillation. This is on the monitor. You have also to feel the pulse. You will find irregular irregularity. So this patient is having irregular irregular pulse and atrial fibrillation on the ECG. Now move to the second part, which is a which is a general physical examination. In the general physical examination, you have to examine the leg. Examine the leg on inspection. You will find maybe pallor or a bluish coloration. On on palpation, you will find that the legs can be cooled. They can put it on the same man, and also you can find it painful, on tenderness, and you can find absent distal pulses. And the distal pulses will determine the extent of the limb ischemia. For example, if the first pulse you felt was the carot was the, um, the posterior tibial, this means that uh, there has been like a limb ischemia below the mid chin. Okay. Um, sorry, if you feel the pulse uh, of the posterior tibial, this means that there had been occlusion below the level of the posterior tibial. So below the ankle but if you feel the popliteal this means that the level of the occlusion was in the mid chin uh, i mean uh, the obstruction always is distal to the last palpated artery okay so uh, this is for the uh, pulses okay and uh, number three is the parathesia so the triad is pain pallor parathesia um, pain, pallor, parathesia, and pulseless. P 
pain, he already gave you pain. Pulseless, you felt it. Parathesia, uh, pallor, you saw it by your eyes. So now let's assess the parathesia. On the parathesia, you will find that the fine touch is absent. And you can also assess the pain sensation, like the diabetic foot and alcoholic foot examination. You may not have time for this, but you already concluded your diagnosis. So now move to the chest examination. Why chest examination? Because you know that there is a problem in the heart. So listen to the heart sounds. You will find that there is systolic murmur, which is diagnostic of AF2. So now move to the patient. You are having a condition we call uh, acute limb ischemia. Uh, it's a condition which the blood supply to the leg is cut or interrupted due to occlusion in the blood vessel which supply the leg uh, by something we call thrombus or even emboli sometimes. Why did this happen to me? Because of a condition we call atrial fibrillation. Uh, the heart uh, beats improperly or the pulse or the heartbeats are not regular. So there, there, there could be a risk of clot formation and these clots can be dislodged to distant parts in the body and form this embolus or this thrombus uh, in the blood vessel supplying the leg. What are you going to do for me? Number one, we are going to keep you in the hospital. I'm going to ask my senior to come and review you. Number three, we are going to give you oxygen. Why oxygen? Because oxygen is necessary to maintain the oxygen supply to the distal parts which are having ischemia. We are also going to give you a very strong pain care for your leg pain. Most probably we will give him here morphine under the senior review. And we can we are going to inject a blood thinner, okay, uh, which is heparin, 5000 international unit, but just say blood thinner to dissolve the clot in your leg. We will also ask a vascular surgeon to come and review you and he might need to do some investigation which is a Doppler upon which uh, he may consider uh, transferring you to the theater to do some procedure to remove this blood clot. Okay, so the final decision is up to the vascular surgeon. Okay, otherwise we will, conf we will uh, perform other investigations to find out the reason behind that because you are having atrial fibrillation. Now, uh, what investigations we'll do for atrial fibrillation? We'll do the normal, uh, full blood count, uh, LFT and KFT and uh, uh, like um, and also thyroid function test very important and we will do chest x-ray too to find out the reason uh, so now we manage the acute limb ischemia now let's move to the atrial fibrillation me and my senior will consider a rate control the rate control is most probably beta blocker bisoprolol if the rate control medication didn't manage we will consider rhythm control either medic medical by flicinide or um, electrical by cardioversion and we will consider giving you medication to prevent the formation of blood clot later on because this patient developed blood clot we need to prevent this in the future by giving him clopidogrel and after that we will refer him to specialist cardiologist why to perform echocardiography and 24 hour ECG for his AF so this is one more history based station but the management of it is quite different from the others because it is separate station.